Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another live gameplay. I'm going to be rolling with a Patreon um, scheme from one of my Patreon members. Uh, this specific scheme that I'm going to be using uh, against uh, a gentleman running with the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens, and he's going to take off with uh, with uh, Jackson. He's going to he's going to run around. Uh, this guy actually had a fairly simple scheme, um, and he just ran his plays. I had a lot of stock plays he would run. Um, a lot of mesh concepts initially. You'll see he just dink and dunking uh, right here. I think he hits a corner route right there. Good read. You're able to get a, get a nice little completion, get the ball down the field. First and 10 again. He goes right back. I actually go with a man coverage and try to use it, but he's still able to go ahead and catch the ball. In a second and two situation, I jump into a cover two, and I spy up my guy. I knew for a fact you got you always got to compensate for for uh, this quarterback, and I get a nice little play by Donald. But uh, Jackson actually takes off. Fowler cleans it up and actually tackles him. It could have been some more yards if he got past it. No huddle, of course. That just seems like most players just have to no huddle. They don't really have um, reads. They just they just stay in their offense and no huddle. I, it just no huddle people just annoy the hell out of me, uh, just because it's just it forces you just to be quicker on the stick. So it actually throws into coverage, uh, goes for it on a on a fourth down situation. I got to get to the guy off the slot receiver off to the left. Try to get him a pass and then he throws it right at Rap and he's able to go and get a completion right there. So I could have been it could have been a three and out type situation, but he's able to go and get it. Go in, slide the guy over uh, over the middle. Didn't click on, but actually because I had a zone guy falling into the zone and misses up his reads, I get a nice little pressure. So second and 17 situation. I'm trying to slide my guy over. I don't get on the right defender. I'm actually on my, my uh, middle defender right there. He takes off this quarterback and actually gets a nice little run right there to go pick up some yards. So third and six situation. I think I'm jumping in the 34 odd right here. Don't get my defense set up because he's just he's running a lot of plays stock and he's just quick hiking. Takes off this quarterback, gets a really good angle against Aaron Donald, is able to go and pick up a first down. So uh, this is kind of the name of this, uh, this game. I try to go ahead and with a, with a blitz off the edge. Uh, it messes up his read a little bit. I've got a spy in the backside, so I've got pressure coming off to the left. He goes off to his right, and as a result, I'm able to go ahead and sack him. Second and 17, running the same type of blitz because I think he you know huddled again. I got the pressure going off. Go ahead and do the spy. He throws across the field and gets a good it gets a good completion right there. Now you don't see a lot of that in the NFL uh, because if you usually throw the ball across the field like that uh, in the NFL you're going to get picked off but he gets away with one. It's actually a fairly good Madden play for him to see the field so well like that because I pretty much had his reach shut down off to the right. He's able to go and do that. As a result, he capitalizes, gets the ball in the end zone, going up seven to nothing. So I'm on offense using my Patreon scheme right here uh, for my, my my select Patreon. Uh, just a nice little inside zone. Go ahead and attack him underneath uh, with an angle route with the fullback right here. Uh, come back uh, to the angle route to the fullback. I just want to kind of establish this play just to force my opponent to go underneath. Uh, go to a um, it was an RPL and I was able to go and hit the slant in the backside. Now a little misdirection type of play. We could pick up some pretty good yards right there. Uh, first and 10 situation. I try to hit the, the angle route right there, actually the little corner route. Uh, pick it up and come with a run right here. I think this is a draw play. I'm able to go ahead and pick up the first down. So first and 10 situation. I'm hitting this guy with a man blitz beater, uh, but the ball gets misthrown by the quarterback. That would have been a touchdown if it was a good pass, uh, but he's using a lot of man blitzes against me. So I actually try to go ahead and hit the corner. His left side corner was playing lights out. So anytime I actually try to make a play, he actually would get that. So uh, the left side corner, you're going to see make some plays against me. So try to hit him with another man beater right there and uh, his corner actually almost knocks the ball out, picks it off against me. Uh, the defensive back, which is Earl Thomas, go ahead and right down the middle of the field right there to actually get the ball down to, I think, the seven-yard line. So right here, uh, I'm actually trying to hit the guy over the middle, and I can't get rid of the ball, so the ball comes out late. Earl Thomas intercepts it. It intercepts the ball and just takes off with it. I think I got a tackle right here. No, he breaks a couple tackle, tackles and it actually goes ahead and houses it. Were, for, I don't know, but it was 105 yards. It was in the red zone. I'm down 14 to nothing. This is start. This game's starting to get ugly. So, I, I, I hit him with a slant right over the middle. Once again, uh, I'm looking for man beaters, and right here, Earl Thomas is just playing lights out. This guy is just 
all over the field making plays. He's got a lot of uh, the ability to make a lot of distance. Uh, uh, all right, here I take off the quarterback, but I don't think I get any yards. I probably should have ran to the inside a little bit. I think, I, yeah, I actually took a sack on that. So uh, try to hit him with a little crosser right here, and I get sacked again. So third and long, third and 21 situation. Try to hit him with the corner route. The defensive back makes a good play. Did I actually come down with it? Yep, they came down with it. And there's only one second left in the clock. So I'm going to go ahead and take my points. Three points will help you in the game. I'm getting the ball in the second half. That's going to put me in a situation where I, all I need to do is, is make a score a touchdown, get a stop, and then I'll be up by score. So get some good seal blocking with the uh, stretch play right there. Um, and I'm able to go and pick up my biggest run of the game, or practically my biggest play of the game. Uh, no huddle, you know, go into the same formation, hit him on a little out route, but look at this defensive back, 44, whoever you are, you were nightmare. I couldn't do anything with it. Hit a little out route off to the right-hand side, not able to come down with the ball. Got a crossing route um, uh, going over the middle of the field, able to come down with it, and Cooks is able to get the ball into the end zone, giving me exactly what I need against my opponent. So 14-9 situation right here. Feeling pretty good about getting back into this game. Uh, he actually throws, but I've got uh, a defender to come there and slap that ball out. Now I go ahead with some heavy blitzing. And he doesn't make his reads fast enough. And Jackson doesn't have a fast release, so I'm able to go and sack him. The third and 19 situation, I think what I did right here is I just went with an overall coverage. I spy up one of my defensive ends, so just if he decides to take away with it. He throws a good pass, but because I've got Ramsey over there, Ramsey's able to go ahead and bite on the ball. Now I go ahead and man him up um, on this particular play. I think I just did a quick sw switch. I get a nice little block shed, and I'm able to go ahead and get him into the end zone and sack him in the end zone, uh, getting a safety against him. So right here, going back, getting the ball right here. Got the crosser off the right-hand side. This is going to try to open things up. I think I come down with it. I do on that particular situation. Go with another play-action play. Got a crosser again. And we'll go ahead and get a nice little completion right there with Cook. So I've got crossers going after the right, and he's having a hard time with it. Hit him with a draw play. And he gets a nice little block shed with his defensive tackle to go ahead and stop that run. Usually going to get a little bit more yards with it. And right here, uh, he was running cover four, so I do that tight end route, which is like kind of a deep uh, corner route was going to open up for me. Try to do a nice little corner, uh, a, a counter play. I had the blocking. I just couldn't get it to the outside. Now right here off the left, I'm doing a pitch play out of the strong close. And basically, he his He's got phenomenal contain. Uh, his his linebacker came in to shut this down. Now, this is a play that I like to run down in the red zone, uh, but uh, for some particular reason, uh, my, my guy actually got blocked, and when I threw the ball, he just went, the ball just went crazy. So it was just like a bad random throw by my quarterback. There's, I wasn't throwing to that guy. There was nobody in the area. There's no linebacker in that area. There was no basically receiver in that area. And he's able to get, get away with it. So uh, nice little slant route right there uh, to go ahead and pick up some pretty good yards. And basically, if he scores one more time, this game is pretty much iced. So I go ahead and hit some pressure. I, I, I think I did an all blitz against him, and I get some nice little inside A gap against him, and that messed up his reads a little bit. Got Waddell over, uh, Weddle over here. Go with the pressure, and he throws right to Waddell. Uh, Weddle's able to go ahead and pick off the ball and takes it into the end zone. So I get a user interception just like he got an interception. I'm able to go and take it house against him. So 18-14 uh, to 14 is a score. I get one stop. This game's pretty much toast. If he scores, uh, it's going to put me in the offensive situation. This guy runs no huddle. Um, I got some. I don't have the blitz set up correctly. I need to get more guys in the box. I'm going to go with the pressure with the contains. And actually, he throws right in the seam and, and takes off with his wide receiver. Really, really good read. I was running those cover three blitzes against him, having pretty good success. And uh, right here, uh, he's just quick snapping me in this type of situation. So I could just go up with all-out coverage. And uh, he patiently waits for the crosser, takes it, dumps it down. And actually, fortunately for me, his guy steps out of bounds. So it res uh, preserves a little clock for me. That might help out a little bit. So go into cover two, try to play the, the crossers. He actually hits a backside crosser uh, and actually makes a really, really good read. Uh, basically, no huddles again. 
in this type of situation. Uh, and uh, really what I'm doing is I'm doing cover two. I don't really have it set up, but I get some pressure off the edge to go and sack him. He no huddles again. Uh, back to cover two, I believe. I think I tried to do a deep blue over the top. No, I actually put some pressure out there. And I got a guy out there, but you can see the guy doesn't 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 tackle him. Um, he doesn't make a play in the ball, and he's able to do that. Do a double A got pressure against him. I figure I want to I want to make a fast choice. I go to the right. He goes. He throws it to the, the mesh concept off the left and gets a touchdown. So good rewrite there. I just want to show a different defense to him, kind of mess him up a little bit. Right here, um, I actually take off the quarterback hit. Pretty much all my def all my uh, wide receiver options all locked up in that type of situation. Come back, uh, roll off to the left. I try to get a completion off to the left. His defensive back 44 has been my kill has been my nemesis all day. Stops that play. So a 31 situation. I actually hit the little out route. The defender is not able to get out there. Um, show him. Uh, I've got basically 10. Uh, a minute 10 left at the clock, hit him with a little pitch to the outside, trying to get to the outside to stop the clock. Can't do that. So once again, I come to a little check down. This is a play, this is a little route I like to jump jump into. 24 seconds left. Uh, basically, I'm trying to hit the crosser on the back and side. And right here, I do not come down with it. All right, so look at the clock. 17 seconds left. This is the play. This is a Portland concept. He's running cover four the second half of the game. I'm going to block the running back. He's been looking at the crossers, going to the left, and he's going to carry with that crosser. And look at the backside. That deep post is wide open. I'm able to go and roll in for the go-ahead score against him because I held back with that Portland concept. I didn't use it in the entire game. I knew it would be, uh, knew it'd be cover four, and that's when I went ahead and pulled it out is when I needed it and when I needed it bad. So able to go and get a sack. He quits out, and I get a win. So this is my Patreon uh, special or custom request. Picking up a victory against a guy It's a fairly good player. Not the best player, not the best defensive player, but able to pick up a victory. So once again, to my subscribers, thank you for your support. To my patrons, thank you for your support. And until next time.